What if you were told an asteroid was on a collision course with Earth in 2024? Imagine this. The year is 2004, and astronomers across the globe have their telescopes trained on a newly discovered space object. Its name is Apophis, named after the ancient Egyptian deity of chaos, and it seems to be living up to its name. Scientists, after analyzing its trajectory, calculate a rather unsettling 2.7% chance of this celestial body striking our planet. Now you might be thinking, 2.7%? That's nothing! But in the grand cosmic lottery those are odds you wouldn't want to bet against. Apophis is no small rock either, it's a behemoth estimated to be around 370 meters in diameter. That's roughly the size of three football fields lined up end to end, hurtling through space at incredible speeds. The potential impact of such an object? Catastrophic. We're talking about an explosion more powerful than the most potent nuclear weapon ever detonated. It would be like lighting up a thousand Hiroshima's all at once. The aftermath? Global climate changes, mass extinctions and a world forever scarred by this celestial visit. As the years rolled on, the calculations were refined and the predictions became more accurate. And with each passing year, the threat of Apophis seemed less like a distant possibility and more like an impending reality. The odds were recalculated and the results were chilling. Fast forward to the present day, 2024, and the once distant threat of Apophis looms large. Scientists are now predicting that Apophis will pass by Earth at a distance of just 30,000 kilometers, that's closer than the Moon. In the face of such a threat, humanity is left to wonder, can we change the trajectory of Apophis? Can we avert this potential disaster? As of now there are no definitive answers, no foolproof plans, only time will tell. What seemed like a distant threat has now become a potential reality. The year is 2029 and Apophis is now predicted to come dangerously close to Earth. Apophis, a name that has been haunting the scientific community since its discovery in 2004, is now a cause for concern for all of humanity. Once viewed as a distant threat with a mere 2.7% chance of impact, Apophis has now become a chilling reality. New calculations have emerged that paint a dire picture. It appears that Apophis will pass by Earth at a distance of only 30,000 kilometers. To put that into perspective, that's closer than the Moon which orbits at an average distance of 384,000 kilometers away. Yes, you heard that right. This celestial body about the size of three and a half football fields will be closer to us than our very own moon. Now you might say, well 30,000 kilometers still sounds like a lot, but in the grand cosmic scale it's a hair's breadth away. An astronomical stone's throw if you will. This close approach of Apophis holds potential implications that we can't ignore. It's not just about the potential for impact, but also the gravitational effects that such a close pass could have. Our planet's gravitational field could alter Apophis's trajectory, making future encounters potentially more dangerous. Moreover, the gravitational tug could cause tidal effects, leading to shifts in the Earth's crust. While not apocalyptic, these shifts could result in earthquakes or volcanic activity. And let's not forget the potential for a cosmic show. With Apophis coming so close, it would be visible to the naked eye, appearing as a speck of light streaking across the sky. But as we marvel at this spectacle, we must also grapple with the reality of what it represents. A reminder of our vulnerability in this vast universe. A wake-up call to the threats that lurk in the depths of space. The threat of Apophis is now more real than ever. But what can we do to stop this impending disaster? Now that we've established the threat, let's explore some of the proposed strategies to prevent Apophis from colliding with our planet. One of the most talked about tactics is the use of a gravity tractor. This would involve sending a spacecraft to hover near Apophis. Over time, the gravitational pull from the spacecraft would subtly alter the asteroid's trajectory, nudging it off a collision course with Earth. The concept is simple but would require precise execution and could take years to have a significant effect. Another idea on the table is to use a kinetic impactor. This strategy involves ramming a spacecraft into Apophis at high speed. The force of the impact would theoretically change the asteroid's direction. But this approach is risky, it could potentially break the asteroid into smaller pieces, each still capable of causing massive destruction. Then there's the nuclear option. Yes, it sounds like something straight out of a science fiction movie, but it's a serious consideration. Detonating a nuclear device near the asteroid could provide enough force to alter its course. However, this strategy carries its own set of risks including the potential to fragment the asteroid or to spread radioactive material through space. The final option is a last-ditch effort. 
one we'd use only if all else fails, mass evacuation. If Apophis is indeed on a collision course and we can't change its path, we'd need to evacuate the predicted impact area. This is of course an extreme measure and would present enormous logistical challenges. Each of these strategies has its own set of merits and drawbacks. The reality is that we don't yet have a foolproof plan to stop an asteroid like Apophis. Scientists around the globe are working tirelessly to develop and test these and other potential solutions. We can only hope that their efforts will yield a viable plan in time. Despite the potential threat, there are currently no means of stopping the asteroid. What would happen if Apophis did hit Earth in 2024? This question strikes fear in our hearts, as the implications are indeed terrifying. Imagine a celestial object, with a diameter of approximately 370 meters, barreling towards our planet at an astonishing speed of around 30 kilometers per second. The impact of such an event would be beyond catastrophic. The moment of collision would unleash an energy equivalent to over a billion tons of TNT, approximately 80,000 times the energy released by the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The blast would obliterate everything within a radius of hundreds of kilometers, causing an immediate loss of life in the millions if not billions. But the devastation would not stop there. The impact would launch enormous amounts of debris into the atmosphere, blocking out sunlight and plunging the planet into what is known as an impact winter. This sudden drop in global temperatures could lead to a mass extinction event similar to what is believed to have wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. Crops would fail due to lack of sunlight leading to widespread famine. The dust and debris in the atmosphere would also cause respiratory problems, potentially leading to further loss of life. The world's economy would collapse as countries would struggle to recover from the destruction and chaos. The social fabric of society might unravel as resources become scarce and people fight for survival. And let's not forget about the psychological impact. The knowledge that such a disaster could occur without any means to prevent it could lead to widespread panic and fear. In short, the impact of Apophis would be an event of unprecedented scale and horror. It would change our world in ways that we can barely comprehend. But don't lose heart just yet. Remember, scientists are working tirelessly to understand these celestial bodies and develop ways to protect our planet. The odds are in our favor that Apophis will not hit Earth in 2024. The impact of Apophis could be catastrophic. But it's not a certainty and that's a glimmer of hope we can all hold on to. In the aftermath of Apophis, what would the world look like? Let's imagine for a moment that the unthinkable has happened. Apophis, that formidable asteroid we've been tracking since 2004, didn't just graze past our planet but made a direct hit. The immediate impact would be catastrophic no doubt but what about the long-term effects on our planet's climate and life? Once the dust settles, literally, we would find ourselves in a drastically different world. The impact would release an astronomical amount of energy causing a massive explosion upon collision. This would trigger enormous fires, spewing soot and ash into the atmosphere and blotting out the sun. This phenomenon, known as impact winter, could last for months, maybe even years. Without sunlight, photosynthesis would halt, leading to a collapse in the food chain. Crops would fail, and starvation would become a grim reality for many species, including humans. The temperature would plummet, causing a sudden and severe ice age. Oceans would cool, disrupting marine life and ecosystems, while on land, many species would be on the brink of extinction. But it's not all doom and gloom. Life on Earth is resilient. We've seen it bounce back from five major extinction events in the past, Yes, it would be a long, tough road to recovery, but life would eventually find a way. Scientists, engineers, and policymakers around the globe are already working on strategies to detect and deflect potential asteroid threats. Space missions like NASA's DART and ESA's HERA are pioneering asteroid deflection technology. And while these efforts may not be perfect or foolproof, they do provide a glimmer of hope. So, while the aftermath of Apophis would be a dramatic test of our planet's resilience, it would also be a testament to our collective will to survive and adapt. The threat of an asteroid impact is not just a wake-up call to the fragility of life on Earth, but also a reminder of our capacity for innovation and cooperation in the face of adversity. While the threat of Apophis is real, it's important to remember that Earth has survived asteroid impacts before, and with the right preparation we can survive this one too.